As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. Our worst fears have now come true, and all our warnings have proved tragically accurate. President Putin of Russia has unleashed war in our European continent. He's attacked a friendly country without any provocation and without any credible excuse. Ukraine is a country that for decades has enjoyed freedom and democracy and the right to choose its own destiny. We and the world cannot allow that freedom just to be snuffed out. We cannot and will not just look away. L'Italia, l'Unione Europea e tutti gli alleati chiedono al Presidente Putin di mettere fine immediatamente allo spargimento di sangue e di ritirare le proprie forze militari al di fuori dei confini internazionalmente riconosciuti dell'Ucraina in modo incondizionato. Con gli alleati della Nato ci stiamo coordinando per potenziare immediatamente le misure di sicurezza sul fianco est dell'Alleanza e stiamo rafforzando il nostro già rilevante contributo allo spiegamento militare in tutti i Paesi alleati più direttamente esposti. Le sanzioni porte alla Russia saranno alla hauteur dell'aggressione dont elle sarà coupable. Sur le plan militaire e economico, autant che nel domaine dell'energia, nous serons sans faiblesse. Nous appuierons l'Ukraine sans hésiter et nous prendrons toutes nos responsabilités pour protéger la souveraineté et la sécurité. The protection of civilians must be priority number one. International humanitarian and human rights law must be upheld. The decisions of the coming days will shape our world and directly affect the lives of millions upon millions of people. In line with the Charter, it's not too late to save this generation from the scourge of war. We need peace. It is wrong. It is against the Charter. It is unacceptable. But it is not irreversible. I repeat my appeal from last night to President Putin. Stop the military operation, bring the troops back to Russia. Ukraine is a very complex history and history. It has been developed by today's situation. It has been developed by all of the factors that have been developed. We have noticed that today, the Russian Air Force 那么，我们中方密切关注当前最新事态的发展。我们希望地区能够保持和平。我们也呼吁各方保持克制，避免局势失控。<音>